One of the most valuable fields in Webflow's CMS capabilities is the date time field. However, the display options are a little bit limited. Let's have a look at how that's applied here. Here I have an upcoming event section and I've got an events CMS entry here. Let's look at the definition. I've got a name. This is for a church site which actually has two churches so I've got venue. I've got the start and end specified although I'm not currently using the end in some implementations on some websites where I have multi-day events. I do use this to choose what is displayed on the screen. We'll go into that on a separate discussion. I've got a brief description which is text only and some other options like featured uh, event options. Then I've got a full text description and images, locations and so on. Additional fields which I'm currently not using for this implementation. What we really want to focus on right now is using the start date time and displaying that in the most convenient way for our website. So let's have a look at what this looks like. Now if I add a text block and I bind it to the date, so I've got my start date time here. These are the formats that I have available. I have basically long month formats with the day and the year. I've got some date and time formats. What I really want this to say though is abbreviated weekday name, abbreviated month day name, the day and year, and then the time. And I want to be able to put some symbols in between, such as an at sign between the time. So my only real option here is to use these parts. That essentially means that I need to create a number of different text fields here and style them each differently in terms of the format and then have them all display horizontally. So the first thing we're going to do, just for convenience, is drop in a div block and we're going to put each of our all of our components inside the div block. You can see here I've got a div block and I've got my text block bound inside of it. Now let's create a couple of these. We want one for the weekday, we want one for the month, the day, and the year, and we want one for the time. We also need in here a text block for a space and a text block for an at sign. So I've put in a number of different blocks here. Let's go wire these up. So the first one, the format I just want is the weekday name. So here we've got Thursday or Friday in this case. This is plain text unbound. All I want is a single non-breaking space. So I hit shift space to put that in. This next one, I want the month name, day and year. Looks good. Here I want a non-breaking space, shift space, an at sign, and another non-breaking space. And this last one, I just want the time. So I'm going to use, there we go. Now as you can see, by default, all of these text blocks are designed to be configured as a block. Now I could give them all a selector name, name all five of them with the same selector name, and change them to inline block so that they would display horizontally adjacent to each other. However, there's a better way. And this is the reason that we've put them inside a div block. What I can do is an apply a class selector to the div block that affects all of its children. And the way we do that is we're going to turn it into a flex control. So when I turn it into a flex and enable wrap children, you can see what it has done is caused each of the children to flow horizontally in a nice clean way. Now I've actually already created a selector here, which I'm going to call event date time. There we go. And you can see all that it has done is adjusted the font size a little bit and made it italic. You can also set colors, but each of the items inside do not have selectors that I have to manage. This makes it much easier for me to make the styling consistent and avoid having to go through all the effort of creating additional selectors. All I have is a selector on this parent div and this text styling that I apply, the font, the colors, the italics, the bolding, the sizing, the line spacing are all inherited. So far this is the easiest way I've found to deal with date times in Webflow. I hope this is useful.